Hello boys and girls and welcome to a new episode of Unity 2D Tutorials. In this episode uh, we're going to talk more about the camera and uh, one of the first things that you need to do in a camera in a 2D game is make it follow the character. Let's go! So far we've got a character that runs, walks, crouches and jumps. And uh, the next thing we need to do is we have to make the camera follow that character which is a critical thing and then a lot of people have problems with this because uh, they have these issues with not for it not being smooth or getting glitchy or all this stuff don't worry we're gonna cover all these points in here so the first thing we have to make sure of is actually let me show you the whole scene uh, I've added more stuff before we jump into I've added uh, an ending here so we can you know like we don't fall off the edge First thing we have to look at the camera itself and we create a script which I'm gonna make in here because I'm organized or obsessed if you wanna say. Call it whatever you want, I'm gonna call it follow camera. Follow script follow script. You know what? I'm gonna call it camera follow. And it play opened right away. Nope. Never mind. So let me drag and drag and drop well, let me put it here. Yep, in the camera, we drag it and drop it. I'm gonna explain the whole procedure of the camera following. It's simple. You've got two game objects. You've got the main camera and you've got the fox, which is the character. What we need to do is we need this camera to follow the position of this character. <clears throat> and in simplest terms, we're gonna modify the transform of this object to a, to align with the transform of this object but we're gonna make we're gonna if we put it in the same position it's gonna have different stuff so we can apply the position transform with some offset and we'll see what that is in a second so let's go to the script uh, let's delete this stuff we don't need this need no of this let's go by we need the reference of the character so we're gonna uh, make a transform because transform uh, uh, relates to all the positioning rotation so we go transform we're gonna call it target so you, you might get a character you might get an object it's up to you the second thing is we have to make the position of, of the object of what I mean if this script follow up the character we're gonna do it in the fixed update because uh, I've tried on doing an update and late update it you get some small glitches but in fixed update it's much smoother so what we're going to do is it's going to be we're going to start from the simplest way and go the way go up from that so we're going to go with transform dot transform dot position equals target dot position simple as that so if we go here we're going to have we're going to see a, a reference here called target as soon as the the scripts loads and we're gonna drag the fox or the character that you have and drop it in here so whenever I play the game the camera will be in the same position as the fox which is our first first step like on the right side it's not good because it's the same as position of the fox and the fox has the position of you know all these stuff zero let's make it zero and zero and the reason we're not seeing anything in here because the camera should be Go, should be slightly backwards from the Z buffer uh, range here. So what we're gonna do here for the, that one, we're gonna have to apply some kind of an offset, and I'm gonna uh, give it a vector three. I'm gonna call it offset, and then we're gonna add here the offset. So basically, what this means it's adding up two vectors and then up applying it for the position of the camera. And you can see from here. At the start of the game, we've got the camera in the position of 0, 0, and minus 10, whereas the fox is 0, 4, and 0. So, we want to make sure that the camera remains in the same Z position because in 2D games, Z position is critical. So, let's make sure that this one is minus 10, and if we play the game, we should have a smooth, or I want to say, a working camera fall. See, now it's working fine. Let's go full screen. Uh, everything's fine here. Run, you can jump, you can keep running here, you can crouch. 
So that's it. This is the simplest way of making a camera follow the player, but we can, we're gonna enhance it. In a sense, we're gonna make the camera camera follow the player in a smooth transition. And with that, I'm gonna have to make a new method here. Call it follow. Nope. And then let's put everything in here, and we call it from the fix update. What we're gonna do is instead of putting this value here, I'm gonna cache it here, and, you know, like save it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a target position, and it's and that's it. If I play the game, it's gonna have the same results. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this position instead of directly putting it, put, putting the camera in that position. I want the camera to transit from whatever it is right now to this position we can do this by uh, making a new vector or you can also uh, edit this one but for some for the simplicity of the tutorial I'm gonna make this one I'm gonna call it uh, smooth position and this will will use vector 3 dot lerp and it goes for a uh, uh, linear interpolate interpolation which means moving from one point to another in a linear way and it takes three values it takes the current value and the end value and the smooth factor so what we have current is we need it to move from whatever it is right now and we can access that transform the position to the target that we have and then we're gonna have to input here a value in which we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna call it smooth factor I'm gonna give this a range of from 2 till 10 and you'll see why uh, I've got this ones because uh, I've been testing with these values and these are the somehow the minimum and maximum values that we can get let's make it one even so what we're gonna do here we're gonna go smooth factor and multiply it by time that delta time uh, fixed delta time now we've talked about this before this makes sure makes sure makes sure that <laughs> uh, the numbers in here remain constant for any PC or any machine that you're playing the game at whether you have low FPS or high FPS this will stay the same because in high FPS uh, machines if you don't put this the value will be really high and the opposite for lower ones so this one make sure this happens so let's look take a final look we've got ourselves a fixed update and then we're calling this follow method we're taking the position of the player and adding the offset and then I'm gonna call it smooth position yeah and then what we're doing is we're lurping from our position to the target position with this smooth vector so the smaller this value the slower the transition will be and the bigger the faster and we have to replace this with a smooth vector so if you go back to the scene let it load <coughs> we're gonna notice that we're gonna have an, another value in a specter here which is zero at the moment let's put it at three and uh, if I play the game the camera will directly follow the player but in a specific smoothing factor like you can see it right now I'm running it's not instantaneous but it's it's somehow falling if you see from the right side left side here like this is the middle the player the camera will always be in the middle but if you move it's actually taking some time so if you make it even one it's gonna take a longer time so it depends on your taste of gameplay if you make it 10 it's gonna be almost instantaneous you can have this even higher but I like the feeling of three honestly if you play a lot of horror games where you're chasing somebody it has to be a uh, low but three is good and uh, with this whole mechanic we can have a running player jumping crouching however you want with a following camera with a smooth look oh, you see crouching so that's it and uh, I hope you guys like this video I learned something here uh, if you got any more questions please post in the comments and uh, I'll be help I'll be glad to help otherwise uh, we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye